So, what we're going to do for this problem, the main important thing, guys, is when you see numbers that are being multiplied towards your logarithms, that is going to be from using the power rule. So we want to use the power rule to go back and condense our logarithms. Basically, what we need to first do is take each of those numbers in front and rewrite them as the powers. Okay? Because when we went to condense, if you guys remember, when we condensed and we had numbers as powers, we rewrote them as the product times the logarithm. So now I have log base 2 of x cubed plus log base 2 of x cubed plus log base 2 of y squared. Wait. How are you supposed to know what to do first? OK. Well, we're just going to use the power rule to be able to rewrite them up there. And a good question, um, good purpose. But before, when we're condensing, you know, we don't want to condense them when they're being multiplied by numbers. But there is something that we could um, get that. Those are just numbers multiplied, yeah, by there. I mean, they're just numbers being multiplied by here to rewrite those power. And that's using the power rule. Now, what I want you guys to understand, it doesn't matter, guys, if there's two terms, three terms, or ten terms. But if all of those terms are logarithms with the same base, and you're separating them by addition, then you can rewrite them as one logarithm separated by multiplication. So you can rewrite this as log base 2 of x cubed times x cubed times y squared. Then we can now use the rules of exponents that say when you multiply exponents, you do what with the powers, Jazeel? Thank you. You add the powers. Okay? 